Fair Weather Friend by Marcus Page. This book is dedicated to all those who lost loved ones during and after Hurricane Katrina. Peyton and Maria were the best of friends. They lived right next door to each other and went to the same school, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is a Catholic school on Taladano Street in New Orleans. Even though Peyton was a year older than Maria, they were in the same grade because Peyton had been kept back the year. <laughs> Peyton was 11 and Maria was 10. They were in the sixth grade. Their teacher name was Miss McGee. Miss McGee was a very sweet older lady. She had been at Holy Ghost for so many years. She even taught Peyton's father. Everyone thought Peyton and Maria were brother and sister because they looked so much alike. Maria was very active young. She was a very active young lady. She loved playing all types of sports. Plus she had just joined the cheerleading team. Peyton was very outgoing. He was a star on the flag football team. It was August, the summer of 2005. The kids were getting ready to go back to school. After a long summer of playing and vacationing, Peyton and Maria was looking forward to getting back to school. Peyton and Maria were walking to the store when they arrived to the store, the store clerk was watching the news on a TV behind the counter. There was a special bulletin urging all residents to evacuate soon because a huge storm was coming. The newsman called the storm Katrina. Katrina was said to possibly be the biggest storm New Orleans had ever seen. This scared Maria. She started to tremble as she was watching the news. Peyton was scared as well, but his pride wouldn't allow him to show it. He shrugged it off and said it was nothing. We can handle it, he said. We can handle anything. We see these storms every year. Peyton and Maria ran back home. Their parents were watching the news when they got home. Peyton's mother seemed very worried. Peyton's parents said that they would evacuate immediately, but Maria's parents were, wasn't so sure. They had just moved into a new home and they had a lot of new things. Plus, Maria's grandmother was at Toro Hospital in New Orleans, and they had no way of moving her. Peyton's parents began packing up their car. Peyton and Maria seemed so sad. They didn't want to leave each other because they didn't know when they would see each other again. Peyton and Maria said their goodbyes. Let's get ready to leave, Peyton's father said. Peyton and Maria promised each other that they would keep in touch no matter what. The, sk the sky grew dark. The winds were fierce. The raindrops would fall like angels' tears. The sky would pierce, filling the streets, overflowing the lands, people running in panic. Maria parents couldn't stand it. They were ready to leave, but it was too late. Crowder was the end of state. Plus, Hurricane Katrina was on her way. Peyton's parents had made it to Lake Charles. Peyton tried to call Maria's father's cell phone, but the lines were dead. Peyton was so worried about Maria and her family. Maria's father said they would go to the Superdome for safety, but there was no way to get there. The roads were closed. The streets were filled with trash, furniture, and anything you could think of. So they had to stick it out at home with no air, no electricity, and very little food. Lake Charles was filled with people from New Orleans, people in the stores, people on the street, people everywhere. 
Peyton stayed with his parents and their relatives in Lake Charles. It was very crowded in the house with other relatives from New Orleans as well. It was like a big party, a family reunion, but at times it was just too crowded. The kids would play to each other, play together as the adults stayed glued to the TV, talking and reliving the past. Peyton had all his cousins there to play with him, but he couldn't have fun. He couldn't stop thinking about Maria. He missed Maria so much and feared for her safety. He didn't help, it didn't help that he couldn't get in touch with her. Weeks passed, the devastation was finally over. The sun shined so bright. On the city of New Orleans, the storm had passed. The people who were left behind came out in the streets. It was time to get back to life, time to rebuild. Maria and her parents were exhausted. Maria and her parents had no idea how her grandmother made out, but the hospital was evacuated. They started letting people back into the city, so Peyton and his family were on their way back. Maria's mother said, sat her down. She said she wanted to tell her story. It was a story about the goal at the end of the rainbow. She said no matter how hard or long it rained, when the rain stopped, the sun would shine, and most times there were there would be a rainbow. She said, if you followed the rainbow to the end, you would find a pot of gold. At that very moment, Peyton and his parents pulled up at the house and Maria looked out the window. This podcast is brought to you by confettipark.com.